The invention of the helicopter was initially inspired by a Chinese toy. Today, helicopters fly into war zones, save stranded hikers, and land on hospital roofs like it's no big deal. Let's start from the top. Leonardo da Vinci drew a spiral screw flying machine in the late 1400s. No, it did not fly. It didn't even have an engine, or a seat, or basic physics of how it would work. But that is the very beginning of the idea of the helicopter. Leonardo was a visionary, but that design never left the parchment, and nobody in his time even tried to build it. So let's just give him props for the imagination. The real inspiration for the helicopter came from a kid's toy, a spinning rotor on a stick that date back to the ancient China, and later showing up in Europe by the 18th century. It was known as the bamboo dragonfly. The simple idea, spin the blades fast enough, and it lifts into the air. Scientists thought, hmm, what, what if we made this way bigger and added an engine? Fast forward to the 1900s. Planes were taking off, but not helicopters. Not so much. 1907, French inventor Paul Cornu built the first manned helicopter that actually lifted off the ground, but just for 20 seconds. It went up a whole one foot. Then it freaked out and came back down. Not practical, not stable. A cool attempt, though. Others tried, too. Louis Burgo in France, Emile Berlin in USA, Raoul Petrus Pescara from Argentina, but no one could get it to fly reliably. The big problem, helicopters are like trying to balance a unicycle on a bowling ball while spinning on a razor blade. You need serious control systems just to keep it from falling over. Then came Igor Sikorsky. Someone finally made it work. A Ukrainian-born engineer who emigrated to the U.S. and refused to let gravity win. 1939, Skorovsky VS-300 became the first successful practical helicopter with a single main rotor and a tail rotor, a.k.a. the design every modern helicopter still follows. VS-300 flew over 100 hours by 1941. Skorovsky solved the core engineering problem, how to lift off, hover, steer, but not kill the pilot. And unlike others before him, he got it to work reliably. By the 1940s, the military said, hey, these things that can hover, rescue people, and don't need a runway... We We'd like some of those. The Sierowski R-4 became the first mass-produced helicopter and the first used by the U.S. military in combat and rescue missions. From spinning toys in ancient China to battlefield lifelines in World War II to medical rescues and pizza delivery in 2025, helicopters are one of the humanity's coolest and weirdest inventions. Like and subscribe for more interesting stories.